Uh, hey guys, this is actually uh, Dave from Gamers on Games. Uh, this is actually a video response for Rubbish In, Rubbish Out. Now, you guys did a uh, video about how um, you were spraying your matte varnish on uh, on your, your crystal structures and you had that weird erosion thing going on. Well, I, I found something that I'm hoping works for you guys. I typed the video or typed a uh, typed response down below. Um, I figured, what the hell, I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. Um, to prevent erosion, at least what I found works, is I use house paint. Um, I found that um, the latex, uh, or not the latex, yeah, well, I guess it's latex, um, but the latex pure white works great. Um, here, what you can see here, I mean, the roughness is actually intentional. This is, I was playing with sandpaper on foam and whatnot. But this is this obelisk kind of thing that I've been working on just for shits and giggles. Uh, hold on one second. Cody down! I don't have as cool of a workshop as you do. I've got, I've, I've got cats running all over the place. Uh, <laughs> and they keep trying to eat my shit. Um, but no, seriously. Um, so what it is is uh, I took, you know, I, I cut my foam piece. I uh, used a, uh, a hot wire to uh, make all my various etchings here and here, and then over here, and then another one over here. Um, yeah, the idea is that the thing will actually stand at a, at a leaning, kind of a leaning tower of Pisa angle. But what I did is, um, I then used sandpaper, and then um, I put on a coat of um, uh, the house paint. And the house paint actually seems to work pretty well. Um... I, I've, I've used this before on a couple of different terrain pieces. Um, I sprayed it with sealer, and I had no no erosion at all. Um, I figure once you put down the uh, once you put down the latex, um, it, it's enough of a coating that you're not going to have to worry. I mean, just to be sure, I even did the bottom and the very top. You know, just because. I wanted to have it all sealed. I didn't want to be able to let anything aerosol get near it. Um, and with it being the a, a pure white like this, um, I I can't see any reason why um, uh, why you can't airbrush it. I don't airbrush because I don't know how yet. Um, that's going to be one of our hopefully one of our future videos. Uh, <laughs> Dave learns to airbrush, but seriously. Um, I find that this works. So, you might want to consider it. I mean, I'm using one of the little sample jars. Uh, I thought I had it still here. I guess I don't. Maybe I put it back outside? That'd be weird. Uh, <laughs> that'd be weird. I actually put something away. Um, but, um, yeah, I guess I don't have it right now. But, no, the, po the point I was trying to make is um, the, uh, the, the, the house paint, I mean, I have no problem the, uh, the acrylics hold, um, because I, I do my shit in acrylic, um, it's, it's something to at least consider, I recommend getting down, going down, you buy one of the little sample jars, I don't know what it costs where you are, but here it cost me like three dollars American, so, whatever, but I figure it, it can't be that bad, I mean, it's, it's gotta be pretty good for you guys, um, and worse comes to worse, I mean, you're married, and if you're married, you probably have a house or an apartment or a flat or whatever you got. And I'm sure something's going to eventually need to get painted. And if you got pure white laying around, you got something. At least you got a cover up. Um, if you have to put up new drywall or whatever. So it's not a bad thing to have around the house anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess that'll do it from uh, Gamers on Games here. Um, I hope that uh, I hope this helps you guys out over at uh, Rubbish In, Rubbish Out. Uh, Dave, signing out.